and we are going to be kind of simplifying the way ruler is used in class. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to start by reading our problem. All right. So you are going to start by putting a dot at the beginning of our book. Two and 
into the math part of it already. Okay, so we know she bought two bookmarks, right? So she's buying a poster, some bookmarks, so she's buying some supplies, right? So we know she bought supplies. I'm gonna write supplies up here. That's what she bought. We know she bought that supplies. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. So you're focusing on our keywords. So we're going to go on to our next part of our ruler strategy. We're going to locate that important information. So we are just kind of pulling out information of what this, this is asking us. So right now we're going to put a box around important information that we're going to need for this problem. So let's start back at the beginning of our, of our question. Jenny went to the book fair and bought a poster for $3.86. Anything so far? Okay, she bought a poster for three dollars and eighty-six cents. Let's go ahead and put a box around that. Let's put a box around that. All right. Um, and two bookmarks for a dollar thirty-nine each. Mariah, is there anything important in there that we need to put a box around? Okay, so a dollar and thirty-nine cents. But let's think about more a little more specifically. So that's important. So each. So each, so both, she bought that. Okay, so first step. So we need to first figure out how much 
so does you agree. We need to figure out how much she spent. Look alive, guys. Come on. How much she spent. So what do we need to add together to figure out how much she spent? Jonathan just told us we need to figure out her poster plus her two bookmarks, right? So two bookmarks. All right, so what would that be? What would we have to add together? Vivian? Two bookmarks. 
works. Let's add those together. Nine plus nine. Nineteen. Seven. Need to hear more voices. Three plus three? Six. Seven. Can you sit three with us? Yes. Seven. Okay, six plus one is seven. seven. And then? Two. And then two. Okay. So $2.78 for the bookmark. For the bookmark. $2.78. So now, we can add three dollars and eighty. We need to add three dollars and eighty-six cents. All right, let's add our three dollars and eighty-six cents. So we have six dollars. Oops, hold on. Two dollars and seventy-eight cents plus our three dollars and eighty-six cents. Did you line up your decimal? Yes. Yes, you lined it up by place value. Let me hear a yes. 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 Okay, so let's take a look at our next part. Eight plus six, let's get our total. Fourteen. Fourteen. Thank you. Seven plus eight, fifteen. Plus one. And we got a round. Plus one is sixteen. And then two plus three. Five. One. Six. Six. All right. Six dollars and sixty four cents. This is a lot. Are we done? No. Oh, no. No. Just like Sophia said, we are not done. So now we need to subtract our total from what? $20. $20. So remember, we talked about that $20 bill that she paid with. We're trying to figure out how much money she will receive. We're looking for her change, right? Okay. I'm going to do something that I hate doing. But I want to make sure that we have plenty of space. that we need to take away from our $20. So we have $20. But let's get an estimate about how much change is she going to receive. $20. What should we do? She's giving them $20. How much did it cost her? How much did it cost her? Okay, I remember 
keep going. What can we do to avoid doing all that? What's a, a little faster way of doing that? Put pens all over them and okay. subtract all the stuff. So what did we do when we were subtracting? What did we do to each number? Do you remember? Estimate them. No, we have our estimation already. It's about $13. Um, well, Anybody just, remember? You can just put, um, you can do it regular math. Okay, we could do the regular math where we go and regroup, but there is an easier way to do this, and I'm going to go ahead and um, refresh your memory. Do you remember? I actually remember what you're talking about right there. They're trying to make minus right next to this. So we need to take one away from each of our numbers. Do you all remember that? Yeah. This is back when y'all were at home and you were virtual. Yeah. See how many of us were listening to Miss Summers when we were virtual? Okay, we're going to take one away from each of our numbers. Okay, so in this case, we're using decimals. So we're going to take, we're using money, so we're going to take one cent away from each of our numbers. So $20 minus one cent. How much does that leave me with? I remember you saying that. $19.99. $19.99. Okay, do the same thing to our other number. $6.63. $6.63. This is just to eliminate all of that crossing out and turning, because look what we did. We did the exact same thing we would have done if we crossed everything out. Real quick. What is 9 minus 3? 6. 9 minus 3? 6. There it is. 9 minus 6? 3. 4. What do y'all tell me? 3. 9 minus 6. 3. All right, and then bring that my 1. $13.36. Now, before we can just circle an answer and move on, let's look at our choices and let's look at our estimation. I want you to go back. I want you to go back and compare. Compare your answer to your estimation. Were you close? Okay. I also want you to go in and let's look at our answer statement. Did we answer our question? How do we complete that? How do we complete that answer, that answer statement? What do we need to do? Oh, we have to Did we answer our question? Sophia, did we answer our question? Yeah. Okay, what is the answer? Can we, how can we fill in our answer statement? It's Jenny will receive $13.36. Jenny will receive $13.36 and, and change, right? She will receive $13.36. I showed the unestimated one, which was the exact answer. And then I showed the estimated one, which was $13.36. Okay, so we were close to our estimation, which was about $13. Or if you had done where before we changed our estimate and just done $13.30, that was very close. Okay, so were we close? Yes. Yes. Is our answer reasonable? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why is our answer reasonable? I want you to turn and tell someone next to you, why is our answer yes. of $13.36 reasonable?
Why would someone take answer choice B? They will just add everything. They will just add everything and say, oh, she answered. No. Okay, so they, what do you mean they would just add everything? They would just add, um, you know what? No, she doesn't. Uh, did I stand up and do my... Come on, let's see it. Thank you. 